Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today we are doing the best chocolate fragrances. I've got in my collection 30 perfumes that have a quite strong chocolate or cacao note and I'm here to review all of them. Obviously it's not going to be a full review uh, but I'm going to share with you everything that I have in my collection. If you want to know more details about any of these fragrances, I already, I probably already reviewed them. Uh, so just type my name, just type the name of the fragrance uh, here on YouTube and then you should have a review for each of these perfumes. Uh, I already did a video like this for vanilla, for cherry. You absolutely love these videos. So I said, let me do one for chocolate. Hello, last year I released a chocolate fragrance. It's a note that I absolutely love and adore. So I was like, I need to do a chocolate video because I realized I have 30 chocolate perfumes in my collection. So before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to give a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and now let's jump in. I've tried my best to put them by category. Um, there are gonna be some that have a similar vibe, but most of them are like full-on gourmands, but then we're gonna have some spicy ones, some some boozy chocolate fragrances. We're gonna have chocolate mixed with maybe floral notes or maybe fruity notes. We have a little bit of everything, but all of them, all of them have a chocolate cacao note. So I'm gonna start with a very, very, very affordable one that is from Dimitzer, and this one is Devil's Food. This one, let me just spray it in here. I'm gonna try to spray them as well because with some of them, I generally can't remember how they smell. This is literally like Nesquik. It smells exactly like Nesquik. This is what I'm getting. It's powdery, it's a bit chocolate. It's chocolatey, it's not just like cacao powder, it's chocolatey as well. It's like you open a, a bag of Nesquik, like hot cocoa. This is what I'm getting. It lasts like 30 minutes. It's a very, very affordable fragrance. So don't expect to perform or anything like that. But this thing, I think it's a 30 ml. Yeah, 30 ml. This thing is like, I don't know, 10 pounds, 12 pounds, something like that. The next one, Amour du Cacao from Comptoir Sud Pacific. This one, let's put it in here. This one, it's very, very, very similar to another fragrance I'm gonna mention in a second. It's definitely sweet cacao powder, powdery, very, very sweet. And it has this kind of like dried fruits. For me, I'm gonna mention it now, okay? Let me, let's just mention it now. Chocolate Greedy from Montal. The one from Comptoir Sud Pacific, let me spray. What have I done? I hate these bottles from Ch um, Montal. I absolutely hate them. Anyway, I don't know where the thingy this one is a bit more chocolatey in a way but they're very similar they're generally very similar yeah i i kind of actually prefer amur du cacao so if you are and literally the bosses look the same but this one is way more affordable like i need to find that cap it's somewhere over there anyway uh yeah i do really like this one if you're looking for like sweet cacao powder with some dried fruits i really really like this one uh the next one i have wicked good from gallagher this one for me it's cacao chocolate and vanilla yes chocolate and vanilla and then in the dry down you're getting more vanilla than chocolate it's just basically what you picture when you think like it's more like chocolate cacao powder powders i'm not saying like full-on chocolate it has like this powdery against more like cacao powder but it's a very beautiful fragrance if you love vanilla if you love um chocolate cacao i'm definitely i'm sure you're gonna really really like this one the next one a very realistic fragrance velvet chocolate from theodoro scalotinis i know exactly how this one smells this one is super sweet super super sweet chocolate it's again right in the middle between being chocolate and cacao powder. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. This is probably one of the sweetest ones. So if you want something very sweet, okay, definitely check this one out because it's also very, very affordable. Um, they're like 45 pounds for 50 ml. You can't go wrong. Honestly, like everything that's gourmand from Theodore Scalatinis, it's a win in my opinion. Very realistic. Absolutely love this one. Uh, what's next? Right, next I've got 
people love it and people are saying that they're getting lots of chocolate i'm mainly getting vanilla with a bit of chocolate this one is crystal love from atar collection yeah see i'm getting that sweet sugary um vanilla with a bit of chocolate in the background might be just my nose other people are saying they're getting more chocolate more cacao for me it's mainly vanilla with some cacao in the in the background next one i love this one uh, from shabu le et chocolat milk and chocolate it literally smells like like cold condensed milk and like a melted bar of chocolate i love this one everything that's from the le collection love it it's it's cold milk cold milk and chocolate you need to like milk obviously to like this fragrance but absolutely love it um again a very very affordable house shabu definitely check this house house out because they have incredible fragrances they have amazing gourmands and not just gourmands uh but that they're, they're a very affordable price as well next right we need to talk about chocolate queen okay i know at the moment it's out of stock okay it's gonna be back in stock in a few weeks i hope i hope for now you can get my newest release baklava royale uh it's available on the navitus website make sure you're using the coupon code okay so you're getting from 25 percent off up to 35 percent off i'm gonna leave again all of the um, details in the description box it's, it's so good this one doesn't have chocolate this one doesn't have chocolate but i just needed to mention that um it's available we released it a few days ago um but we have very limited stock so if you want it if you want to get it with the discount price get it now because this one obviously it's been a year but it's been out of stock for so long back in stock out of stock back in stock out of stock and obviously for good reasons uh chocolate queen is dark chocolate it's dulce de leche and it's it has fudge as well and it has irish cream this one it's again it's a gourmand but it's not overly sweet it's dark chocolate it's chocolate it's not cacao it's definitely chocolate and then you're getting that irish cream so it's gonna be a little bit boozy um and as you can see from now on we're gonna talk about chocolate like boozy chocolate fragrances <sighs> this is this, oh. I, i'm gonna stop talking about it because obviously is my fragrance blah 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 you're sick of me talking about it but i just absolutely love it next one gourmand coquine from gerla i i forgot to mention i'm not gonna mention it here fragrances that are discontinued but i've seen that they're bringing this back i think it's fev gourmand it's extremely expensive the new bottle and i've seen some reviews i think sharida she reviewed the new one and she said that it's very very similar to the old one uh it's just a bit more intense Gourmand Coquine used to be everyone's favorite. Like, everyone wants it, Gourmand Coquine. And it's a beautiful fragrance, okay? Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful fragrance. But I feel like, at the moment, because there's so many other chocolate fragrances, like, back then, when this one was released, there were not many chocolate perfumes. I feel like I have other chocolate fragrances in my collection that I prefer over this one it's it's a bit boozy it's like powdery it's a very beautiful fragrance but i will not pay i will generally not pay the new price not even the old one because i got this one on sale right before they discontinued it and uh, people are still selling bottles online but for just like a ridiculous prices i will not do that i will not do that okay something that might be a bit similar joal from coquilete this one is again initially when i first got it i thought that it's very realistic and it is like it's dark chocolate with like booze inside with, like that like liquor inside this is what i'm getting it's not overly boozy but it's definitely boozy as well and it's dark chocolate it's not cacao it's chocolate i really like this one but i discovered another fragrance it's gonna be a bit too much for some people okay but i personally love it it's like you either love it or you hate it i not hate it but you need to be into boozy fragrances okay and that is cubano from sumona essenza this is not even like chocolate chocolate it's like chocolate bailey it's literally chocolate irish cream it's extremely boozy 
it has rum i believe and liquor as well i'm not really sure and obviously chocolate but it literally smells like chocolate irish cream oh my god it's delicious absolutely love it like when it comes to boozy chocolate I love this one. It's very boozy. Again, it literally smells like chocolate Irish cream. Like, I'm not saying it's a little, it's very boozy. But I absolutely, I absolutely love it. Like, I absolutely love it. It's, it's such a good, and it's, it's chocolate, it's not cacao, it's mouth water. It's, ah, uh, it's good. It's good. Period. It's good. Anyway, let's move on. Chocolate and orange is another combo that people love. And we're having here Dark Indulgence from Viva More. This one is a very, very realistic, sweet chocolate orange. Uh, here in the UK, especially, they literally those like chocolate oranges. And it smells exactly like that. It's very realistic. It's very chocolatey. Um, and it's very sweet. Like, it's still a perfume, but it's a very sweet fragrance. So if you're into that, I'm 100% sure you're going to love this one. If you want something that smells a bit more perfumey, but still has that chocolate orange, the Stade Sange from Maisa. This one is like a vanilla with some chocolate orange in the background. Let me I love the atomizers as well. Yeah, it's still perfumey. It still smells like a fragrance, like it's not just chocolate. And you're getting this like vanilla with chocolate orange in the background. I really, really like this one. Um, a lot of fragrances from my I do have a good coupon code for them. Okay, I have a 40% off. So it's not affiliated, nothing like that. But if you want anything from them, I have the coupon code. Now, other two fragrances that are like chocolate orange. Symphonia from Zerjov, which is a very expensive fragrance. And then Oro Rosa from Omnia Profumi. I'm going to start, let's start with Symphonia. See, this one is chocolate orange, but it's definitely like a dark chocolate. It has some cardamom for sure. It's like chocolate and cardamom with orange but then in the dry down it has oud and i know that lots of people do not like oud i personally really like it. it's a very elevated fragrance it still falls into, into the gourmand category but it's not just gourmand i don't think it's like a full-on gourmand and it's unisex like it's sweet but it's definitely like dark chocolate then we have oro rosa from omnia profumi which for me Gives me a very similar vibe to Symphonia, but without that oud. I see they're not the same now that I put them like side by side, but it gives me a similar vibe. It's just, it doesn't have that oud. It's definitely way more gourmand. It's definitely brighter. It's not as expensive for sure. It's way more affordable. It's a bit more feminine, but still smells like a perfume. Like it's dark indulgence. It's very gourmand. Oro Rosa just keeps that perfect balance between being it's a definitely a gourmand but it's still a perfume in the same time and you're definitely definitely getting um that chocolate orange quality right next what do we have next uh we've got in here chocolate and other fruits okay dolce passione from pantheon roma for me i'm not sure if it's listed but for some reason i'm getting strawberry like chocolate strawberry like milka chocolate strawberry i think it's raspberries are listed oh, i'm not really sure but this is what i'm getting like it's extremely sweet very some people i've seen on fragrantica saying that this one smells like chocolate queen maybe a little like it's chocolate yeah but for me the the mild support like chocolate queen is definitely not as sweet as this one and that's definitely boozy where this one it's very very sweet chocolate i'll say this one is actually similar to velvet chocolate from theodoro scalutini's but this one for me for some reason getting that strawberry like milka strawberry chocolate um but yeah absolutely love it love it love it love it but you need to like very very sweet fragrances okay next one we've got exidolo love and crime this literally smells like Ita uh, not italica lira from zerjov the like orange lemon cheesecake with chocolate in the background extremely sweet again you need to like sweet fragrances not just a chocolate perfume but definitely you're getting some chocolate in the background uh next we have what else do we have in here the that one let's talk about this one nero cacao from zero molecole 
this one smells like a bounty bar and i can't open this damn bottle anyway it smells like a bounty bar it's chocolate and coconut absolutely love this one i smelled it at exans and as soon as i got back um in manchester i knew i knew that i need to buy a full bottle because i felt absolutely felt in love with this perfume um again it, for me it literally smells like a bounty bar what else we have uh da, 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 this one venom of love it's chocolate cherry in the opening in the dry down it's definitely cherry like just cherry but the opening is like a mouth-watering chocolate cherry is delicious it's delicious like cherry is covered in chocolate if you have chocolate queen and if you have venom of love layer them thank me later just layer them they smell divine absolutely divine together uh, so yeah this one is not necessarily just chocolate uh, it's mainly a cherry fragrance that's why i mentioned in my cherry perfumes as well but you're definitely getting the chocolate in the opening what else from navitus again an older fragrance but i absolutely love this one this one it's it's i can't talk today this one it's imperial imperial it's not gonna be for everyone but I absolutely love it it's like chocolate and has some fruit somehow it's like dates or something like that probably and then you are getting this like leather like suede in the background it's definitely darker it's definitely not necessarily a gourmand but it's gonna remind you of a gourmand it's definitely unisex but i personally like uh, love this one love 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 this one uh especially for like the colder weather okay uh what do we have ah. dulce diablo from narcotica this i personally love it some people might not but i personally love it this one is chocolate and like booze like i don't know what is it like cognac i'm pretty sure it's cognac and then dried apricots and normal apricot and it's delicious for me it was a christmas gift um but i had like we had to go through the official website blah 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 pay taxes all of that a bit annoying i know but i don't regret it like this is so 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 good it's if you live in the in um uh, in america not uk in america it's way easier for you to access this fragrance it's a very expensive one again i know it's not gonna be for everyone because it's very sweet it's very boozy um you're definitely getting the chocolate but it's mainly like booze and apricots and it's delicious like i personally love it uh, but i know again it's not gonna be for everyone okay what else do we have in here uh right let's talk about some fragrances that have obviously chocolate but that just slightly maybe darker okay uh what do we have we have acro dark this one i need one of these strips where is it here we go yeah acro dark is definitely very very dark chocolate and then definitely has something like like woody i'm not really sure is it it's not cedar wood i'm not really sure what it is but it's something like very woody a bit smoky almost in the base it's not gonna be a full-on gourmand i love i personally really like it like really like it but it's not gonna be your super sweet it's definitely not sweet like it has a sweetness but it's definitely not as sweet as most of the other ones very 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 realistic dark chocolate this is what i'm getting with this perfume um another one vicious cacao from mezotahite uh i want to say it's not sweet the actual fragrance i'm gonna spray it on this side because i don't have enough this one it's it's a sweet cacao, but definitely getting something peppery. It's either pink pepper or black pepper. It's in the opening and then the dry down is definitely getting way more cacao or way more chocolatey. It's again more cacao, not necessarily chocolate, but it's very peppery in my opinion in the opening. And that actually reminds me slightly of Cacao Azteque from Paris Monte Carlo. This one is super peppery it has black pepper it has pink pepper i believe it has some cardamom as well um this one is definitely mm, the least one of the least gourmands in here i personally love it it's very woody in the base as well 
but i know yeah it's not gonna be for everyone and i know that if you're looking just for a chocolate perfume maybe this one's not gonna be for you but if you're looking for a super unisex and complex fragrance that has a, choc a chocolate note i'm sure you're gonna love this one again it's mainly like pink pepper black pepper cardamom with some like dark cacao not necessarily chocolate dark cacao okay uh, i personally love it but you need to try it first okay uh, what else do we have in here right let's talk about this one duro cafe from boys 1920 i know it says cafe gabby why are you talking about a fragrance that says cafe because it's dark coffee black coffee with dark chocolate this is what i'm getting it's very dark like very very dark it's mainly coffee but you're definitely getting dark chocolate as well yeah black coffee with dark chocolate it has again a sweetness but it's not it's not sweet i will not consider this like a sweet fragrance this is definitely like unisex i i really like it i personally really like it but again it's not gonna be your typical gourmand fragrance okay what else do we have in here okay i've got two very interesting fragrances that you're either gonna love them or hate them the first one is from trussardi and this one is um passeggiata in galleria vittorio emanuele due this one smells like nutella like realistic nutella and tuberose it's literally like you're dipping tuberose into nutella when you first spray it it's very strong on the nutella on that chocolate note um, and then slowly you're getting the tuberose and then it's mainly tuberose which has with some chocolate i know that this combo is not gonna be for everyone i know that lots of people might absolutely hate it i personally love it i love the bottle as well uh, but yeah opening it's very very realistic nutella even if you like chocolate and tuberose you might not like the combination of them but if you have the chance to try it definitely try it because it's a very unique experience a very unique fragrance and the next one the, the next one is actually the most unique that i have in here and one of the most unique fragrances in my collection in general this one is methexis from uh, manus Irakinis. this one is fig green fig on this side with chocolate and honey on this side i know it sounds what fig chocolate and honey in the colder weather i cannot wear it i'm gonna be honest with you but in the summer especially summer evenings somehow this mix it's everything like summer evenings this smells divine this smells divine it's one of the most unique fragrances again in my collection you need to try it first for me it was a blind but i do not do what i did because it's very different um if you have the chance to get a sample or to go to a store and, and test it 100% do it because this is definitely an, a, an experience and i would actually suggest you get a sample because you need to experience this one in the heat during the summer time in the evening like that's the perfect time for this fragrance and um, i personally love it it's not gonna be for everyone but i personally personally love it and i really appreciate how unique it is especially in these days when everything smells the same um, Texas from Manu Sirakin is, it's, I love it, absolutely love it. Again, this is it first, okay? And now we're gonna have how many? One, two, three, four, four fragrances that have a chocolate note, have a cacao note, but it's mainly just in the background, so you might not really experience it that much, but I can smell it, okay? The first one, Sundance from um, Stefan Humble Lucas. You know that I love this one. Oh, I love this one. This is, for me, what I'm getting is whiskey with sandalwood. And then I'm getting a little bit of chocolate in the background. It's, I, I've, so, I've, I've talked about this perfume so many times. Probably you're sick of me. Again, some people love it, some people don't. I personally adore it. Like, it's my favorite one from uh, Stefan Humble Lucas. Yeah, try it. Try it because it's, it's amazing. I personally adore it. Next, we have Black Phantom from Killian. Again, some people love it, some people hate it. I love it. This one, it's rum. I think it's, it's, it's rum or cognac. I think it's cognac. I'm not really sure. I'm very bad with like beverages. I think it's cognac. You're getting coffee. You're getting chocolate. Somehow, it's not, over, it's not necessarily gourmand. 
it's definitely like woody a little bit it's very unisex again it's a love or hate try it killing is available everywhere try it it's not gonna be a chocolate fragrance you can smell some cacao in there you know suma oriental i love this one for some reason this one doesn't have any amber okay when i looked at the notes i was like how this one doesn't have any amber for me suma oriental it literally smells like a boozy chocolatey version of grand soir from mfk when i looked at what people are comparing this one so i've seen grand, grand soir and i completely agree with that somehow the notes are in here they give me an amber scent okay and for me it's like Grand Soir, that sweet amber, with something boozy and with something a bit chocolatey. I love it. I love Uni Nomad. It's one of my favorite brands. Um, like brands that are very unique. Everything that they are creating is super unique. And it's just good. It's just good. They have Discovery Kids. They have some very, very cute Discovery Kids. Like the pictures, that everything is beautiful. Try a Discovery Kit, try a sample, um, try it because it's amazing. Obviously, you have Sugar Leather, which you know that I love. You have Jardin de Mis Fab, which I absolutely adore. Uh, but that one, Sumo Oriental, it's a very good fragrance for the winter time, especially. And now, finally, the last one. New Bond Street from Bon Number 9. Again, I don't think this one is a necessary full on good month. This one, it's like sandalwood with chestnut lots of chestnut and a bit of cacao in the background it's mainly like super creamy sandalwood with chestnut and a bit of cacao absolutely love it um i'm not sure if this one is discontinued or not you can still find it here in there online but you can't really find it in stores test it before you buy it because when i got it actually it was not a blind buy but on Fragrantic Cup, people were saying that it's super gourmand. And then when I tested it, I realized it's not actually that gourmand, you know. But I still absolutely loved it. Uh, but you might not love it that much in case you think it's a full on gourmand. That one is not, but I already mentioned plenty of other gourmand chocolate fragrances. Um, and yeah, that was it for today. Anything else? Nope. I think that's everything. Yeah, 30 chocolate fragrances. That was it for today. Let me know in the comments down below. Tell me which is your favorite chocolate perfume. Uh, tell me if you want me to do this type of video for another note. I was thinking maybe either coffee or like nutty perfumes. I can't just say almonds because you have almonds, chestnut, hazelnut, pistachio. Do you want me to do coffee? Do you want me to do like nutty perfumes? Let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, that was it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'm going to see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.